Hey guys, welcome back to Organic Please. My name is Vanessa, and today in our product view, I'm going to be telling you all about Pamela's products. This is their dark chocolate frosting mix. So awesome, so delicious, and so easy to make. Um, it is gluten free, dairy free, and wheat free. I love to keep one of these hanging around in my cupboard just because you never know when you're going to make a cake or some cupcakes and need some, some icing. It's definitely a simple go to, and it always turns out great. Um, it is listed as natural, but if you take a look at the ingredients, the very short ingredients list, um, some of the most of the ingredients are organic. So on the ingredients list, there is organic powdered sugar, organic cocoa powder, and gluten-free natural vanilla powder. So really, really awesome that it's such a short ingredients list. To put this together, all you're going to need is six tablespoons of butter. I like to use Earth Balance just because um, their baking sticks are super easy to measure. So six tablespoons of butter mixture. It's room temperature so that it blends smoothly. And you're also going to need four tablespoons of water. So all you need to do is start off by creaming your butter smooth with a um, standing mixer um, or a whisk or whatever you want to do and then add this whole package and plus the four tablespoons of water and then you just beat until smooth. It does not take long at all. I suggest starting out on a medium low speed if you are using a stand-up mixer just so that it doesn't the powder doesn't blow it everywhere and make a big mess but once it's mixed in well turn up the speed a little bit and it does not take long. Um, super simple, especially if your butter is room temperature. I have done this before when I was a little greedy on time and uh, didn't wait for my butter to cool and it didn't turn out as well. It was very hard to spread on a cake. So big important tip there, make sure your butter is room temperature. So I made a cake a few days ago and my boyfriend couldn't wait for it to be iced. So as you can see, he's already tapped into it. But what I do suggest doing is try cutting your cake in half right in the center and putting a layer of the icing throughout the middle it's and then spreading the rest on top and all around evenly super easy to spread which I really love about this icing a lot of icing recipes that I've tried to make myself don't end up to be so smooth so this is a really great option I do suggest you go check out their website it is pamelasproducts.com they do also carry a vanilla icing which is also really yummy thanks so much guys for coming by don't forget next time you're at the grocery store to ask for organic and I look forward to seeing you soon thanks guys